Hi guys, this is John from Meet Your Sticks University, and this is Seasoning and Additives 105, Common Additives. Additives refer to any ingredient added to your product that serves a function other than taste. The reason for adding this can be moisture retention and yield enhancement, cure acceleration, color enhancement, meat binding, and that's just to name a few. Familiarity with these products can help you make a better product and it might ease some of your concerns when reading the ingredient labels on store-bought packages. Additives with moisture retaining properties include cold phosphate, corn syrup solids, dairy blend, and sodium tripolyphosphate. These products are designed to allow the meat to more effectively bond to the water so that it stays in the product during the cooking process. This is gonna give you a finished product with more moisture, and this is especially important when making products with a low fat content. Now these products also act as yield enhancers, as the more water that's bound up in your product, the more weight and volume it's gonna have. For the beginner who wants to use one of these products, I'd recommend the cold phosphate. Just be sure that you check the ingredients on the seasoning that you're using first to ensure it doesn't already contain phosphates, as adding too much of this can give your product a soapy taste. Cure accelerators interact with cure in a way that speeds up the conversion from nitrite to nitric oxide gas and allows you to go directly from stuffing to the smokehouse. When these are used, you don't need to hold your product overnight to allow the cure time to work. Cure Accelerator from Excalibur and Sodium Aerothorbate are cure accelerators that have minimal, if any, effect on taste. Encapsulated citric acid acts as both a cure accelerator and a pH reducer. It's what gives meat snacks like snack sticks and summer sausage that nice tang. Smoked meat stabilizers should be used mostly with wild game and should not be used in a cover pickle, as it's got something in it that's gonna rapidly gas out and it can create a dangerous cloud of gas. For a beginner here, I definitely recommend you just go with encapsulated citric acid. It's the easiest to use, plus you get that nice tang from it. Liquid smokes are popular color enhancers that are sprayed on during the smoking process to give meat nice smoked appearance. Two common types are C10 and Supreme Smoke, and these are often used with hams, bacons, or any other smoked whole muscle meat. P9 liquid smoke is another type that has a neutral pH, but this should really only be used in smokehouses that can atomize it for spraying. So it's mostly just for commercial processors. Now cures like SureCure also have a coloring factor, but we're gonna get into that in later videos. Meat binders like Soy Protein Blend and SureGel both contain protein to make the protein extraction more efficient as more protein will be available. Now, soy protein blend has a grain, almost like cereal-like appearance, and once you put it in water, it's gonna look a little bit like oats. But once you mix this into your product, it won't have any noticeable difference on the consistency. Now, both of these have allergens in them, so you need to be a little bit careful with that. Just make sure that no one's allergic to either soy or milk. Carrot fiber is a binder that holds 26 times its weight in water. It's allergen-free, inexpensive, and it imparts very little, if any, taste into your cooked product. Now, any of these are gonna give you a better consistency product, but for the beginner, I really like to go with either carrot fiber or the sure gel. As always, remember to like, comment, and subscribe, and visit waltonsinc.com and meatgistics.com to find everything but the meat. Thanks for watching, I'm John with Meatgistics University, and I'll see you guys next time. Subscribe to Walton's YouTube channel to watch more amazing videos or shop at waltonsinc.com to find everything but the meat. Check out our latest sales and giveaway video here, or watch another hand-picked video by clicking here.